Hi guys, this is Elise and I want to share with you guys a mini album that I made. I'm part of the Secret Squirrel Sisterhood Society hosted by Jade, Jaded Studios and one of the girls, Don Marie. Hi Don Marie. Um, she decided to do a side swap and it was for a mini album, mini album swap. And so I joined and my partner ended up being Veronica. Hi Veronica. And um, so this is the mini that I made for her. I talked with, well I emailed Veronica and we decided to do uh, six by six, no bigger than eight by eight. So I ended up making my six by six and I um, used the uh, DCWV Ghost and Goblin stack. I had some of that paper left and I decided to use, use that and then I put lots of um, fibers and trims and ribbons on the side. I binded it with two uh, binder rings and on the front I um, cut this piece from the paper collection this this front cover and what I did was I cut it so that I could get this tag and so that's on the front cover and then I glossy accent it put glossy accent on the bird can you see how shiny it is and on the chandelier pieces here and then I had some um, thickers and I put um, a 31 here for Halloween and I put Happy Halloween, I just had like a little sticker. And then I used a Recollections flower and a little rose that I had, a little black rose. And then I made a flower with a cupcake cupcake holder. And I used a Prima uh, E-Line flower and a Prima Center. So that's my front cover. And um, the way I'm holding this together, I'm using a headband. And this small black flower is holding the mini closed. So, and then what I did on the back, as you can see on the side, then what I did on the back, the brad that goes through, I just put a little, um, little, little glittery bat on top to just kind of disguise the, the brad. So, okay, so that's the front cover. And I think it turned out really cute. I really like it. It's real colorful. And then uh, here's the first page. And I'm trying to use this flip phone uh, with the little... Um, tripod that it came with and it is so teeny tiny guys I'm kind of really disappointed with it but um, we're gonna make it work so this is the first page and I made lots of tags and I used some check ribbon to make some tabs to pull the tags out with so here's one this was part of the the paper collection and then this was also part of the paper collection and I just used some um, stamps that I had and stamped um, little jack-o'-lanterns on them and then she can journal and write on the back and then on this page um, she could put a nice big picture on this page and I did leave room for um, I made pockets on the side so she can put here's a journaling tag here and then I made two tags here there's one here uh, with some lines that's also part of the paper collection and then this one is made with the top note and it says no tricks just treats and I put a little glittery ghost there and it just slides up in the top of this page if I can get it in let me see if I can get it back in I'm going to use two hands <clears throat> so that just slides <clears throat> right in the top there okay and then this one just goes back in the top as well Okay, so that's the, the first and second page. Okay, the third page, the next page, um, I used um, part of the uh, paper to make like a little book. And it's closed with um, Velcro. And she can put a picture here. And then I put a couple little tags here. Okay, that one has like a little mummy with some journaling lines. And... This one was just a piece of the paper, and I put some lines on the back. And then, um, and it just closes like that. And then this is um, just a page that I made a little, it's just a cute page, really, that I made a little banner on that says Boo. And this is the Tim Holtz um, on the Edge die um, that I got from Stacy in a rack. Thank you, Stacy. And this is a little cat die cut from the collection that I put some glossy accent on and that's just a little glittery pumpkin that I put there but on the back of that page um, I put a little card and it also closes with um, velcro and she could put some pictures inside and this was a Martha Stewart 
around the page punch and um, this was a, a can company little die cut okay on this page I used um, a cutout from the paper collection and I used one of the cupcake holders to uh, just sort of give it a little bit of dimension in the back put a little pumpkin paper clip right there and then there's a couple little tags here on the side there's a little witch with some ribbon and then here's another tag with some journaling lines on it from the paper collection so I think that turned out really cute so that just slides right back in there okay this next page I thought this paper was really pretty um, this page and what I did was I just put glossy accent on the um, little medallion um, the lady cameo right here and she can put some pictures here if she wants kind of left that page kind of blank and then um, um, I made a, a swing tag here. She could put a little picture there. She could put a bigger picture here and then there's a little tag to journal on and she could put a picture here or she can journal on that page and I put a little a little spider there. Okay, I think this is probably one of my favorite pages. And this page I punched out the um, Tim Holtz Rickety House with a uh, on um, chipboard and I just glued it just enough to make a pocket and I stuck tons of tags so there's one that's his spooky and then here's a tag from the paper collection and then here's a big picture um, spot she could put a picture there and maybe right on the back so that's that side and on this side I put um, one of the uh, on the edge Tim Holtz on the edge rickety um, not rickety the fence and um, and it's just tacked down enough to hold the tags and then here is a little tag with a spooky family they look really spooky and then this is a um, just a top note that she can write or put pictures on and then here's another um, journaling spot from the collection and then up in the corner here I have a lollipop flower that was made by Kimberly thank you Kimberly this page um, I really like this paper. This page, I used my Happy Hauntings Cricut cartridge, and I cut out this frame, and then I um, took the, the middle part of the frame and, and just kind of glued it at the top, scored it, so that it becomes like a little flip up. So she can put a picture there, she can put a picture on the front if she wants. I put a little glittery bat there, and then on the front I put a glittery skull, and it just flips up like that. And then on this page, I glossy accent, glossy accented the entire skull. If you can see that, how shiny it is. And then here, um, I needed to cover the brad that was stuck through um, on this very last page. Um, and so I made like a little flower arrangement here. I used um, a, some prima, a prima flower. Prima flower and a couple other flowers that I got locally and then I used a little plastic skull and just stuck it there and a little glittery spider and then the very last page the back again you can see where I attached the brad and put that little bat and then I just put glossy accent on the witch that was part of the paper she was on the paper already and I just put glossy accent on her and that is it and then again it just closes like this just pull that band around and it closes right in the front like that. So there is my mini for Veronica. I hope she likes it. And I'm going to pack this all up with a few other goodies for her and send it on its way. So thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.